What's up, boys? Sorry about that. Had to drop me a little deuce deuce. That brings us. See, what, let's continue to our adventures of Durin, the sword shield dwarf. And we meet a wolf pal. Alright, alright, hit me with Ren. So we can get this guy down. You're not going to see a whole lot of micromanagement in this section right here because this section is really easy. And you pretty much, even on even on nightmare difficulty, you can attack, move through it. There we go. And the wolves are down. This 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 pack of wolves right here are nothing like the pack of wolves you're going to see uh, as a random encounter probably coming up and. About three videos from now. There we go. Alright. So, uh, and we'll try to explore as much of the game as possible. So, we're going to clear every area that I know of. I know there's that chance creeds crap. Wild's flower. Let's go through this dialogue here and get the quest in. I'm doing this just for the EXP. Like this game gives you a lot of it, like free EXP. It just doesn't tell you about. And I think that's a flaw in the game. All right. Okay. And this is one of our first challenges. This right here is a micromanagement challenge. You see there's three archers on the hill over there, but you can pull these guys without without startling the archers, or at least all of them. See, like not now they're active now, but their their buddies are already done for. So let's go ahead and get over there to the archers. Let's go ahead and get this guy first since he has enchanted arrows on. So they're done. What we got to do out here is we got to get f three vials of dark spawn blood and find the the, the uh, warden treaties that uh, basically all the races signed that said they would always help during a blight. Uh, we get a wild flower, and that we need that to uh, cure our dog buddy. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna go over here first. As you. Uh, See the lovely hanging corpses to decorate the room. Let's see what we got here. Uh, we got some herlocks. I'll try to see if they'll go ahead and wait until they come over here. Just gonna grab this guy. Oh yeah, he's done. Go and micromanage this a little bit. Mm. Oh yeah. I, I don't foresee any of these battles giving me a lot of trouble. There's two in mind that come through. One is the, the hill archer battle. But um, I think I'm a smart enough player to get through that. Small shield, elf root. Another thing I can't unlock because I didn't start as a rogue. Uh, none of these chests that you can, that we can't unlock ever have like like have to have items. Oh hell! Now we got to come up here and deal with these wolves. Oh, 
righty then. All right, yeah, and we got Missionary Rigby, his last will and te testament. Another piece of shit we can't unlock. Quest updated. No fruit. All right, since we got Missionary Rigby there, we're gonna head on back towards the um, where we where, where that fort was, and uh, we're gonna go get his uh, quest thing done. All right, right up here is one of the battles I'm worried about. I'm not worried about it enough to switch off though. There's one single herlock over here. Trying to see if I can pull that herlock. Without oh, getting into the archer's line of fire like that. Uh, herlock's done. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can push our way up. There is so much arrow straining down on us right now. Get down. Down. All right. All right. That gap got closed. David hit the dirt. Come on for the Duke family throw. The Adukin lives. All right. Yeah, that battle right there, I was kind of worried about it. As you see, it was in good cause. Let's give it a, give it some time for our uh, shit to heal up. All right. Uh, Missionary Rigby's encampment's right up here, and I'm gonna save it because I'm a little bit more worried about this battle. Been, been a while since I saved anyway. I'm a little bit more worried about this battle than I was the uh, previous. Alright. See if we can pull these guys. He's got a bow and arrow. Let's go. I'm going to charge him. Right. I'm going to make sure that none of my guys get away. I want them all centered right here. Shit, I, I didn't realize David was taking such an ass beating until too late. Get him back down again. Alistair's taking a whooping. I think we're okay. We might lose Alistair. But I don't think it's going to be a big deal. That archer over there latched on the jewelry. We might lose. We might not even lose Alistair here. Yeah, he's done. All righty then. We lost David. David, but you know what? I'm about to set David up differently. Let's go ahead and do that. Because David isn't really that good with his daggers, so we're going to go ahead and take his daggers off of him. Uh, my fucking shit froze up there for a second. Equip. Alright. Swap weapons. So David got to set his tactics up. We're going to set him up with the uh, the same tactics as the uh, previous um, main character. Have him attack. And put him at ranged. 
Yeah. There we go. Dayleth can't level up or gain experience, neither can Jory. That's kind of like a, um, I guess that's a spoiler. And Cashy. Yes, that's kind of like a spoiler. But, um. But, uh. Like I said, he he's not the very he's not a very good fighter. He's outfitted with dual daggers to begin with. And so I'm just gonna switch him over to an archer. Another symbol over here. Okay. Alright, I heard some growl. There he goes. <clears throat> There we go. These little rogue ambushes have no chance against us. I got this might kick me in the nuts. All right. Let's keep looking on our maps. Let's go ahead and go over here. Fight these pack of wolves. The cool thing about David being ranged now is it. <laughs> Well, if he can hit the motherfuckers. Oh, got a critical hit right off the gate there. Alright. Alright, wolves are down. That brings that the wolf and the alpha wolf over here left. It'd be nice if you could. I'd like to see what would happen if Jory and David lived through the joining. I wonder what kind of great wards they would have been. Can't take the Adukin, son? Oh, an iron chest. Farewell letter to Jogby. I see. All right, so we got that done. Over there is where we found that one dude, and it's auto saving for us. All right, we're gonna wait for that thing to go away. I wonder what kind of building used to be here with all these like mo like monoliths sitting around. Uh, not really monoliths, but like arches. I'm trying to get behind. Ah, oh, fuck, it didn't work. There's another rogue archer back here. Oh, there's a Genlot rogue. Alright, old Jory's getting fucked up. Let's see if we can get up here and take the heat off of <laughs> Never mind. Alright. We gotta get the stun on this guy before he gets that DPS rolling. Lay down. Don't be hitting him with no spells. Uh, oh. But uh, you get on the ground again. Where is my backup? I gotta drink a potion because David's about to be by himself. There's Alistair's down. There's somebody back there fighting. He's back there fighting a fucking Genlock by himself. Go and put him down. I gotta get back there to help him. Can you not kill that one motherfucker? Come on, dude. Oh, he's getting he keeps getting interrupted. Oh, all right. All 
All right, he's still alive. He's got hardly any health, but I'm hoping I can keep the heat on on my dwarf here. That way I can keep his damage output so I don't have to use another health potion. There we go. There we go. Survive that shit. See, that threw a damn wrench in my whole plan there. Alistair went down. Damn, that one rogue back there did some work. I lost Jory early. Dead soldiers. Let's go back. Let's go over here. It's like a little encampment. More rogues. <laughs> Ooh. There's a level up. All right. So Durin leveled up. Let's go ahead and put one there and two there. All right, this puts us at level four. I'm going to go ahead and get taunt. And the next level up, I'm going to probably get threatened. Well, I'm not sure. The reason I got taunt right there is um, it helps me control people on my character by himself. Um, like, like, for example, like back then where we had, where jo where uh, Dabith was getting uh, you know ambushed by the Genlocks, I could have taunted him off of him when I came up to him and made him attack me. It, it's it's kind of the taunt and the stuff to kind of keep your more weak characters from getting hit, whereas your frontline characters can hold the line better. Like, cause like Dabith, one one thing Dabith doesn't have is he doesn't have like a uh, combat archery. Which he was getting interrupted, and that's why he couldn't kill that one. He couldn't kill that one Genlock, even though he, he he had more than capable damage of doing it. And threaten what threatening does it it makes every attack you have pull more threat, so less people are likely to stop hitting you, and. Um, go after like let's say for instance Morrigan later later on all right let's see what we got here hmm see this there's another auto save put down now we're at the uh, this right here is supposed to be the coup de gras um, I find this battle a little easier than the uh, the one we just had not not the Gaza Roth one but the uh, the one with the emissary let's, let's go ahead and go back a little bit Try to take this guy out of battle. I think what I'm going to do. Come on, David. Damn, Jory is down already. This is not good. That's what we're going to do. We're going to burn some health pots here. How about stop posing? There we go. See, I'm gonna use a taunt here. See how see how they both started going right to me after I used taunt. I leave I leave Alistair. That means I can pretty much keep keep Alistair at whatever health he's at. 
and I have to burn another potion because my character had more than ample health to uh, finish both these guys off. So that taunt saved me a potion right there. And I got I got one of one of the two potions I used back. All right. So time to go and get the mage treaties. I'm supposed to be up here. I wonder if there's anything up here. Death root wants cash. All right. Here's where you first introduced What's to Morgan. Morgan is actually a big character in the series. She's going to be returning in Dragon Age 2. Come on, skip the shit. Come on. Shield balance. The character has learned to compensate for the weight of shield in combat. No longer suffers an attack penalty while using shield defense. Killed one demon and undead fiend. Six people. What six people? Oh yeah, the six people that uh, attacked me in the uh, the crat, the trag. Crag, whatever it's called. Hmm. I forgot to upload that one video. All right. Remember, remember when I was talking about the quartermaster? See, it's easy to forget. I bet some of you forgot. Um, I talked about the quartermaster because right now he's here again, and you can buy another backpack off of him. So we're gonna go do that. We'll get us another backpack off of him, and we can buy some more potions as well. We gotta sell some stuff. Some shit here that we're not gonna use. Fire bolts. I'll keep those fire arrows. I'm gonna use the enchanted dagger. Mud idol. Acid flask. We don't have anybody can use that yet, so let's go ahead and use those up gonna buy the lesser potions as well because we we're about to get a, a mage a temporary mage in our party or mage and uh, he'll be able to put use to that so let's go and get the joining done and go and get our free skill point what happens is uh, in this cutscene is David he he drinks the dark spawn blood and dies from it and Jory Freaks out and Duncan ends up killing uh, Sir Jory. And like it says, you live through it. And we're almost level five as well. Free attribute point. Go put that into strength. And. Uh, we're gonna get shield defense on this one. And there we go. You know what? I'm gonna go see if we can get a helmet for our guy real quick. Help him out. Hello again. Hello again. There's his iron helmet. Let's see what his other goods look like. Let's see your other goods. He's got a mall. He's got a soldier's helmet. Uh, you know what? 
I don't think the soldier's helmet is worth the one sovereign there. So we're just going to buy the regular ass iron helmet. Because we, we'll end up getting a better helmet down the line. Yeah. yeah. So that's a lot better buy. I know the, uh, the soldier's helmet has almost two armor class. But, um... One, sovereigns at early stage in the game are worth a lot. And two, that, that .75 extra armor class, we get outclassed really quickly. And um, whole sovereign difference is a pretty big difference for 75 armor class, especially on a, sh on a helmet that you most likely replace early game. 